We're back to Battlefield 4 today, and some more free DLC being handed out. Player numbers have shot through the roof recently for this game, breaking the 200,000 player mark on Friday nights and over the weekend. Now, that's an astounding number, considering Battlefield 4 is getting closer and closer to its third birthday. Three years nearly this game has been out, and it's still one of the best shooters on the market right now. Not only that, but it's been on sale for really cheap recently, and this continued spew of previously paid for DLC being given away for free is such a good deal. The hype for Battlefield 1 is really, really high. The response to the multiplayer gameplay reveal was, again, reaching insanely high levels. And most of the feedback from the community has been very positive. There are some negatives here and there, and that's completely understandable, but overall, a very positive reaction. So it's not surprising we're seeing more and more people jumping back onto Battlefield 4 or joining the franchise for the first time here. But the second assault DLC, how can I really describe it? Well, I call it rehashed assault, really, because in my eyes, it wasn't really enough of a remaster done to the four maps to really call it a remaster, but the maps are generally quite good fun. We've got the autumnal setting for Caspian Border, a slightly expanded and less blue tinted Operation Metro, Gulf of Oman and its gigantic dust storm, and Operation Firestorm. Don't know really why that was included, because to me it wasn't a very fun map anyway, but you do have it there to play with. For me, as an infantry player, Operation Metro was the best of the bunch, and it still is actually. But for players who like that feeling of all-out war, that true battlefield feeling, 64 players, vehicles, destruction, etc., then you're probably going to prefer Caspian Border over all of the others. The maps in general look very, very nice. Frostbite 3 here in Battlefield 4 really does do them justice, and it was quite a big leap forward, especially for Caspian Border in this remaster. That's where it went really well. The graphical prowess of the Frostbite engine really did push these maps forward, but in other areas, they could have expanded a lot more. Caspian overall is probably the most remastered, with its old red and white radio tower falling down across the map, the change to the autumn setting, and the levolution of the new tower on the hilltop in the middle. But maps like Operation Metro just didn't have enough change to really make it feel like a worthwhile addition. Only a couple of extra flanking routes were added to the underground station area, and on the outside section at the start of the rush map, that was given a new lick of paint. There was lots of like grass that you can set on fire. But really, it could have gone so much further. A lot of people wanted DICE to open up the map above the metro and have some streets up there, a little bit like Sen Crossing, really. But that, unfortunately, never happened. So much more could have been done to these maps, and it's disappointing that we don't see a real huge improvement over the Battlefield 3 versions. They basically play exactly the same with a couple of touch-ups, and I think they really could have gone further and improved it. Maybe it was time constraints. I mean, this DLC did need to come out very soon after the release of Battlefield 4, and we know what it was like back then. Battlefield 4 wasn't in great shape. But it does retain what people love about it most, and in that sense, I'm kind of glad that the remaster didn't change the maps all that much because I liked the way they played in Battlefield 3. So I'm kind of sitting in the middle where in Battlefield 4 I expected them to be different, but they weren't. And I'm kind of happy that they aren't different because I like the way they played in Battlefield 3. Guess what I'm trying to say is I felt they could have done more, but I'm kind of happy they didn't change it too much and ruin the feeling that Battlefield 3 gave these maps. So what else do you get in this DLC? Well, you get five weapons, again following the remaster theme from previous Battlefield titles. We've got the F-2000, which is a really good assault rifle for close quarters engagements. It's got a nice high rate of fire and good hip fire accuracy, so that makes it perfect for Operation Metro. We get the AS Val as a PDW for the Engineer class, nowhere near as great as the variant we had in Battlefield 3, but still quite a good close quarters weapon. We get the M60 LMG, a classic no matter what Battlefield game it's included in. The Dow 12 shotgun, for me, it's a weapon that I'm really not that interested in. And finally, 
the Gol Magnum, which a lot of you might remember as a weapon from Bad Company 2. It's a very accurate and powerful sniper rifle. These weapons are all locked in by assignments that need to be completed, there are five of those in total, but most of them are fairly straightforward. I'd say that the F2000 and the Gol Magnum are probably the best of the bunch. The Magnum performs in a similar way to the M40A5, and that suited me really well when this DLC came out. So, to get your hands on this DLC for free, it's pretty simple. You just need to head down to the link in the description below, click the link and it will take you to the Road to Battlefield 1 page on the Battlefield website. If you scroll down just a little bit on the right hand side, pick your platform. This DLC is available to all five platforms, so the PS3, the PS4, PC, Xbox 360 and the Xbox One, but it's only available for free until the 27th of June, so you've only got a couple of days left to claim it if you don't already have access to it. We've seen Dragon's Teeth and Final Stand DLCs being given away for free already, so that now leaves China Rising and Naval Strike to come next, and hopefully we get those soon. Naval Strike and its Carrier Assault game mode is really, really awesome. I'm looking forward to playing some of that game. But there you go, Second Assault for free. Not the best DLC in the world, certainly not the most innovative, but for some nostalgia back to Battlefield 3 maps and some wicked infantry play on Metro, you may as well pick it up because it's not going to cost you anything. Thank you very much for watching, I've got some more Battlefield 1 footage coming tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.